So another benefit of breath holding is that it helps to reduce free radicals. And free radicals are molecules generated by the breakdown of oxygen during metabolic activity. We all create a certain amount of free radicals through the very process of breathing to stay alive. And normal levels, they don't pose a problem because the body's defense mechanisms are able to neutralize them with antioxidants. However, they are highly reactive and they attack other cells, they cause damage to tissues, they negatively affect lipids, proteins and DNA. They're also implicated in aging and a number of human conditions and diseases including cancer. And interestingly, after a three-month breath hold program superimposed on the training of triathletes, blood acidosis was reduced and the oxidative stress no more occurred. And in this paper, the normal breathing group showed an increase in blood lactic acid concentration and oxidative stress. And the diver group, who were of course doing breath holding, the changes in both lactic acid and oxidative stress were markedly reduced after both breath holds and physical exercise. So the conclusion reached was that humans who are involved in a long-term training program of breath hold diving have reduced blood acidosis and oxidative stress following breath holds and exercise. And again, it points to the beneficial aspects of breath holding in terms of reducing oxidative stress and reducing lactic acid buildup, which we're going to look at shortly. In this paper, a group of trained divers and a group of people with no diving experience at all, the results showed significant improvements in antioxidant activity across both groups, with little difference between the divers and non-divers. So you don't have to be doing this you know, for a long time to get benefits. If you start doing it, you're going to get benefits pretty quickly.